Hey guys, so in this tutorial today, you're going to be learning how to make a duct tape wallet. This is an updated tutorial, and I went slower this time, so hopefully more people will understand. So on the outside, you will have no folder lines, bill fold, no sticky. On the inside here, you will have three card pockets, and the first one does not show over, I promise. And right, and the first one does not show over. So you have three three card pockets on this side with almost perfectly straight trim, two hidden pockets, a pocket above the ID, and the ID from the side. And sorry for the crappy lighting right now, the lighting gets a lot better in the tutorial, I promise. And then the ID. So it's going to be really thin if you make it. So yeah, let's get started with the tutorial. Are there supplies you will need? So the supplies you're going to need for this tutorial are two or three different colors of duct tape. Um, I'm using how, excuse me, houndstooth, electric blue, and atomic yellow. And I took a wild guess with the colors, and they turned out good, so that's good. So though, and then I also use gray for the inside of the pockets. Um, I use an exacto knife. You can get them at Michaels, Walmart, Joanne's, any craft stores. A ruler. I really want a metal one, but I don't have one yet. And my ID plastic. Um, I recommend using top loaders. But and then you're also going to need a cutting mat, which you can get these at Walmart, Joanne's, Michael's, and places like that. So let's get started with the tutorial. So first off, what you're going to do is cut out two strips of tape that are 8 inches long that you want your outside billfold color to be. Then you're going to take the strips and line them up to where they are 3 and 1 fourth inches long. So now you're going to take two 8 inch strips of the color you want to be your inside billfold piece. And take these and line them up to make them three inches tall and stick it on this the other sheet you have and make one side totally down like all the way down so you will have a fourth of an inch on the top and then just take that and fold it over and that will be your trim so now you're gonna make the hidden pockets you're gonna take two strips of tape that are 15 inches and cut them in half. One that you want your outside to be, most likely one that will match. Sorry, that's in the way. And then one that will be the inside. Now I always use gray, obviously, because it's thin and all. So you're gonna take it and layer it. And this piece is in the way, so I'm gonna move it real quick, but I had it in there so you could see. So I'm gonna take it and layer it. I'm gonna make it three and a fourth of an inch, just like we did before. And then I'm going to cover it up on, I'm going to make the gray sheet, or the sheet that's going to be your inside, three inches tall, and then layer on top like we did this, but don't fold over the trim yet. Whoa, that got stuck. <laughs> so now that I have this sheet that looks almost exactly like my billfold, only half of an inch smaller, and I didn't fold over the trim yet, I'm going to take my ruler and line it to where it is three and three-fourths inches, and cut a straight line down it. And that will be my hidden pocket. And then I'm going to take my billfold piece and line it up to where the edge is on the edge and the top is on the top. If that makes sense, hopefully it does. And then fold over my trim just like this. So your hidden pocket will be right here. And just do that for the other hidden pocket too. So now in order to make the pockets, I cut out two strips of tape that are 15 inches long. One that you want to be a pocket color. I'm going to peel that up and flip it sticky side up. And then I cut out one that is 15 inches long. That will be the back of my pocket color that you won't see. So that's why I use gray and it makes your wallet thinner as I've said multiple times. And then you're just going to apply them sticky side to sticky side and smooth out any air bubbles you get or any creases. Then line them up with the inch marks and cut them at the three and three fourths inch mark. Cut them all at that. And you should get end up with four if you did this right. So just do that. So now you're gonna cut out two four inch strips of tape or strips that are a fourth of an inch longer than your pocket so it'll be easier to trim. And then you're going to cut them. You're going to cut one of them directly in half and it doesn't have to be perfectly straight when cut in the middle. And then one, you're going to take it and guess about 
half of an inch and cut that with a ruler and then cut the rest of it in half as well and this is going to be how we trim our pocket. In order to trim your card pockets you're going to take a piece of tape make sure it's the straight edge up and you're going to take your card pocket and line it if hopefully your cutting mat has the dots or lines in it you're going to line it to where it's a fourth of an inch which should be one set of dots over to where you have a straight edge of marking the fourth inch mark you're going to start at the top and stick your piece on just like this and then my moved because I did and then take it and bring your strip all the way down to the bottom and that would that is what we'll, we made the extra fourth of an inch to make it a little easier then you're going to take it up peel it and then fold the rest over into the back in there you have your trim so do that for three card pockets don't do it for the other one do it for three so now that I've done it for three card pockets I'm going to take my ID plastic and take the part that we trimmed to the half of an inch and we're going to do this the ID a little different take it and make sure it's sideways and then line it with the fourth of an inch mark again. And then take your piece, and this is a little harder since it's thin, but just line it across, and you'll have a lot of extra space. Um, and if you guys are wondering what my measurements for my IDs are, they are three and three fourths by two and a fourth. So you're going to take that and fold it over the excess over onto the back. So I'll give it a trim, and then you're going to take another piece. That you should have left over and then do it like you would normally do it but don't fold it over and leave a little space at the top and you're not going to cut that off either <clears throat> so it should be trimmed and then you're going to take your other card pocket and lay it directly under your ID and move it over a slight bit to where it should overlap I'll show you in a second and then fold the back over and this is what I meant by a slight overlap you can see some of the yellow peeking out and that's what you want and then you're going to open it back up and cut it right here you can't see it sorry right here and then fold that piece in and then you can cut this piece off just like that now you're going to take a piece of tape that is three and three fourths inches long and most of the time I do it the same color that's behind my ID and then I'm going to stick it on the ID but I'm going to leave about a fourth well that was a fail a fourth of an inch below where it starts so that whenever it's folded you can't see it but it gives you some sticky at the bottom and mine is crooked so I'm going to redo it real quick then you're going to take two half of an inch pieces of tape and stick them on the bottom of two card pockets now we're going to take back our wallet shell and stick the card pockets on. We're going to stick the two with a half of an inch. So you're just going to try to line them up as straight as you can on the top. Stick one down, rub your finger across it. Then I'm going to take the other one and do the same thing and leave a space in between so it looks like this. And then while I'm at it, I'm going to take out a strip of my wallet color and cut it and to where it's about not really crooked but three and a half inches and I just am messing this up right now okay and then take your other pocket your last pocket without the sticky and stick it on then you're going to take your piece and stick it at the top and bring it all the way down and peel off your hidden pocket and fold it over and that's how you're going to do your first hidden pocket with the card so now to attach your card pocket and ID you're going to take your ID and put it on straight I try to line it up with the second card pocket so just stick it on and then flip your ID up and run your finger along the bottom and you can kind of see where the card pocket stops and the sticky starts and now you're going to take your other strip that you cut in half it's three and a half inches long and do the same thing, run it against the whole thing. Then you're going to take your X-Acto knife and cut straight across like you would to cut 
slits in the po card pocket. Then you're going to peel it up. And then flip your ID up. And then pop that piece down. And flip your ID back down. Then peel up the thing again. And then just fold it in. Just like this. And it normally won't matter if this piece is crooked. Because all you will see right here is the top. And you won't see any of that because the ID piece is coming up. And then just cut the excess off. Now you're going to work on the outer belt fold. Now what you're going to do for the outer belt fold is take two strips of tape that are 8 inches long. I'm just going to set one to the side and take one up. I'm going to move my belt fold piece down to lining up with an inch mark on my cutting mat. Then I'm going to take the piece and line it up about in between the half of an inch and the fourth of an inch mark on my base of my wallet. So it will look like this. You can see the crease right here is where my piece starts being sticky. Then I'm going to take up my other piece, it's 8 inches, and line it to where it is a little bit more than 3 inches from the crease to the bottom. And I will show you that's a little bit more. Just leave like an eighth of an inch because for some reason, whenever you fold this, over it doesn't really leave any space as you can see so that's why you're going to need to leave that piece so now for the outside bill fold you're going to take a piece of tape that is about nine inches long but you won't cut it until you stick it on so stick it on leave about a fourth of an inch on your wallet and a fourth of an inch on the sides so it will look like this and then cut it at oh it's crooked okay and then cut it to where you have a half an inch on both sides and do that for the first part so now what you're going to do is line it with an inch mark take another piece and make um leave a fourth of an inch for trim on the bottom Make sure your piece is nice and flat before you fold it. Crap. Do you see what I just did here? Do you see what I just did? Ugh. This is a disaster. I've done this twice, so I had to redo it twice. So, I'm a failure. But anyway, that's what you're going to do, so pretend I did it. And now would be the time to line it up if you want to. And I kind of failed at lining it up. But anyway, I always fail when I'm making tutorials and that stuff. But anyway, so what you're going to do now is take your piece and flip it over. And yeah, you can see it's wrinkled because I failed. Because I cannot film with a camera in front of me. And then what I do is just cut straight up. I don't cut the corners anymore. I cut straight up. And then you can go ahead and fold this over it for your trim. And what I like to do is just fold it up to make sure it fits. Well, not fits, of course it fits, but to make sure every piece is lined up straight. And if it is, I flip it back down and just cut these corners out and actually cut them out this time. So now what you're going to do is just take both sides and fold them in and you're done with your wallet. Just fold these in. No, I'm just kidding. What you're going to do now is take your ruler line it up and okay don't laugh at me I have two exacto knives one for just cutting strips that's like not the sharpest and then one for cutting the sides like these or designs what or like one that needs to be cut straight and all and it's still left a string uh, I hate strings anyway so I just cut it and make sure it's straight line in about a fourth of an inch and do that for both sides so now you're going to cut the slits for the card pockets. And how I do this is I just take it and then I cut straight across with my X-Acto knife so that the cards will fit. So just do that and now you have completed your duct tape wallet. Sorry, it's so close. So that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to make this bifold. I feel like the tutorial started out pretty good and then kind of went downhill. But so I kept messing up because I swear I just cannot film tutorials in front of a camera. But anyway, I hope you guys 
enjoyed this video and hope you had a fun time making your bifold wallet and let me know how it turned out post a video and make it a video response below also if this tutorial helped you please give this um, a thumbs up and yeah that's basically it subscribe to jay wallet's channel for more tutorials to come soon so that's it bye guys